with my good friend and colleague, Ambassador Rostislav Kacher, thank you. chairman of Globesec. Um, thank you for being here with us on day two of this, this conversation about the U.S. and Central Europe. Um, our conference is about celebrating a Europe whole and free and building the next agenda, the agenda for the next century. Um, for those of you who are here in the room and those of you following online, I want to encourage you to use the hashtag Stronger with Allies to help amplify the messages that you hear today. Um, we just wanted to start off a little bit with a recap about why we're here. And we kicked off yesterday with a real moment to, to pause and mark the milestone anniversaries that are pretty remarkable in the history of U.S. and Central Europe that are taking place this year. It's been just over 100 years since the United States and independent nations in the region began to forge the bonds and build our bilateral relations. It's 30 years since the liberation, the people of Central Europe liberated themselves, brought down the Iron Curtain. It's been 20 years since we opened NATO's door and began to secure the freedom of those that live in this region. And it's 15 years since the dramatic historic enlargements of both NATO and the European Union the Big Bang. Many of you uh, were involved in that process. Um, and yesterday, we started the conversation marking these anniversaries, but the real point was to begin to think about what do we do? Where are we now? What do we do? How do we take this agenda forward? Um, and that's what we want to focus the conversation on. Our ambition, recognizing the last 100 years wasn't great and smooth for this region, now with these people anchored in a permanent alliance with the United States within NATO of the European Union, how do the United States and Central Europe think more ambitiously about what we can accomplish together going forward? So yesterday, we were able to do a few things. One, if you haven't already read it, I'm going to encourage you to go to our website uh, and to follow, read, watch the lecture of Ambassador Dan Freed, uh, who set out a tone of what's happened, where we are, where do we go, a pretty remarkable statement. Thank you, Dan, for that yesterday. Uh, second, we also released the report that many of you have seen uh, that was released at Globesec earlier this year. We released the Atlanta Council Globesec report on U.S. Central Europe and had a, a good, strong debate about that uh, that sets the agenda. Senator Murphy joined from Congress to lay out a congressional view on how Congress believes they can make a deep investment in the relationship in the region uh, beyond traditional security issues. We also announced a strategic partnership between the Atlantic Council and Globesec, which we are very proud of, which means our organizations that are already close are coming closer to be able to share our research, our work together. Uh, and we're going to double down, obviously, at the U.S. transatlantic relationship, but also in the space of disinformation, where we're going to have some researchers based in Globesec now working on how to protect our democracies. Very delighted. And finally, we announced uh, the Weiser Family Distinguished Fellowship, a gift, a generous gift from Ambassador Ron Weiser and his wife, Eileen, former ambassador to Slovakia and an entrepreneur uh, who has supported the work that we're going to be doing on Central Europe, and namely Ambassador Dan Fried as the inaugural Weiser Family Distinguished Fellow. And so we're doing all of this uh, in part um, because we recognize the premise of this conversation is that things would look really different if what's played out since 1989 didn't happen. And it's become really easy to take for granted where we are. That's something yeah. that you, Rosto, remind yeah. me of a lot. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> thank you, first of all, Damon, for a very kind introduction and excellent summary of yesterday. It was a great day. I very much enjoyed Ambassador Street's uh, presentation because precisely he made the point on the historical trajectory that best results you achieve when you combine values and interest, and that leads to results. It leads to prosperity, it leads to freedom, but it leads to satisfaction of people. That's the package, which is not only extremely sexy, but it's extremely efficient. It's producing the results. And we often forget about this. 89 was not granted. Many people were taken by surprise. I'm, I'm the warrior of that. I just graduated in 89. And it created the energy, it created the spark, but and at the end, it's a success. Story is a success. But the job is never done. You cannot tick, you know, I'm free, I'm, I'm over, You're never over. In any relationship, you are never over. If you start for forgetting that what is the cost and you have to work that and you have to still remember, then you are sliding away and you're eroding. And I'm so pleased that we can engage together uh, in this cooperation because it's important for us in Central Europe, this American uh, relationship, the American backing, the, the American hand 
for, for last 100 years, as you precisely described, was so important. It's 100, 30, 20, 50. Now, now we, we had so many reasons to, to remind ourselves of that. But I think vice versa. I think Central Europe is important for the United States because we saw when uh, United States underestimated or withdrew uh, in, uh, before the World War II, what was the cost? And, uh, and now we see, you know, a little erosion. It's a lot of challenges going on in Central Europe, these info war, hybrid threats. Uh, this shitstorm coming in a, through alternative it's media, alternative. which is eroding. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a creative technical term. Um, it's, it's dangerous, and we've seen Globsec trends. So delighted to be here with you, launching that report on the transatlantic side, and continue working with you uh, in all of these elements. So the relationship and bond is stronger than ever. It's important for us, but I truly believe it's important for the United States as well. So Ambassador Kotcher, you may not have heard, but he mentioned the Globsec trends. And that's part of why we're here as well, because if you look at polling data across the region, it's not exactly where people who are strong Atlanticists would want to see those numbers. We've got some work to do to keep our people with us, to bring around broader populations, and I think your, your research has shown that. So today, we're going to unpack these set of issues. I'm really looking forward to this. We're going to turn in just a second uh, to what is a, a, a real opportunity to have an armchair conversation with the a uh, person serving as Assistant Secretary for European Affairs, Ambassador Phil Reeker, who's with us in the House. We're going to then transition uh, to a conversation about what does the West stand for on values and identity. Uh, after that, we'll follow with a conversation about great power competition. Russia and China are in the region in a serious way. What does that look like? What's it mean? And we're going to close with a town hall with the ministers, the Visegrad ministers who are in town, uh, the foreign minister of Poland, of Hungary, joined by the Deputy Foreign Minister of the Czech Republic, and then we'll close the day in a conversation with uh, Minister Lychuk of the Slovak Republic. So we're looking forward to that. And now what I'd like to do, I'm gonna, um, we'll get off. I wanna invite Ambassador Colleen Bell to the stage. Ambassador Colleen Bell is going to moderate the conversation with Phil Rieker. Um, Ambassador Bell served as U.S. Ambassador to Hungary uh, and represented the United States extraordinarily well with a complex task uh, uh, to represent uh, the United States in, in Budapest. She's now serving as the executive director of the California uh, Film Commission. Uh, she is a longtime business executive, has been responsible for producing TV program that is seen by millions around the world, and has taken her creativity and talent and put it into the passion uh, of diplomacy and representing the United States in the region. Let me inv invite Ambassador Bell, Ambassador Reeker to the stage, please. <laughs> 